Hi, I'm Kathy, back with another video. This one, a beginner yoga class. Grab a set of blocks if you have them, and let's get started. We'll get started on our backs. Hug your knees into your chest. Gently circle your knees in one direction and circle your knees in the opposite direction. From here, just let your feet land and then widen them apart. Let your knees come in. Place your left hand on your heart, right hand on your belly and close down your eyes. Settle into your body, releasing any distractions by just focusing on your breath. As you feel the breath expand, you'll feel the belly lift and press into your hand and the chest broaden. And then as you exhale your breath, just notice how the belly draws back towards the ground and the navel. Just a few more mindful breaths here, breathing in and out through your nose. We'll set an intention for our practice to be mindful of our movements and compassionate with our bodies. On your next inhale, gently blink, open your eyes. Bring your feet hips distance apart, bring your arms up, make a tight fist and just rotate the hands in one direction and rotate your hands in the opposite direction. Hug your right knee into your chest and straighten your left leg. Feel the low back stretch here as it flattens against the mat. Now take your right knee on over to the left. As you come onto your left hip, take a big circle of the right arm to open the chest. Gaze at the ceiling or all the way towards the right hand. Just feel a nice stretch across the front of the chest. Come onto your back and we'll switch sides. So left knee hugs into the chest, low back flattens for half wind. And we'll take the left knee over to the right, come onto the right hip, big circle of your left arm. So turning your head as much as feels comfortable here, treating our bodies with compassion and being mindful. We don't pass our edge in our bodies. Inhale to come out of our twist. Take your right leg, hook it in a figure four shape over the left for a reclined pigeon prep stretch. So you'll thread your hands behind the left thigh and gently guide the legs in towards the chest. And as you do that, widen your right knee to the right. And keep your face relaxed, the shoulders relaxed. Just stretching here the glutes and your piriformis and the hip joint here. Now from here, release that. Keep this figure four shape, but heel toe your left foot to the left and then let the knees drop to the right. This is a great stretch for your SI. That's the joint at the very base of the spine. Couple breaths. If the right foot slides off the leg, that's okay. Just let it. And we'll inhale back up, heel toe the foot, unhook, and we'll simply switch sides. So figure four, hug the right thigh in, widen the left knee out to the side. Try to relax those shoulders, relax the jaw, and just 
Allow your body to stretch the areas that feel tight. You might feel sensation there, that's all good. Release, heel toe your right foot to the right, knees fall to the left. And deep breaths here. You might even feel the psoas here in the front of the abdomen that attaches to the leg, even getting a nice stretch here as you take those deep breaths. And we'll inhale up, release, roll to your right side, and we'll come all the way up to a tabletop position here. We'll take some cat cows, so as you inhale, tilt the pelvis forward, gaze up, extend the spine, and exhale, tuck the chin into the chest, arch the back here in a cat-like position. And we'll continue on here, inhaling, pull the chest through, extend, exhale, flex the spine, and one more, inhale, and exhale. Take a neutral spine now, curl your right toes under and pull the right heel back. You'll feel a stretch along the calf muscle and the Achilles heel. And then we'll gently rock forward and back, just a couple times here, forward and back, forward and back. Lift your right leg up, swing it out to the side, land the sole of the foot down and walk your hands up. Bring your hands to your hips. We've got gate pose with our legs. We'll take a nice side bend over to the right. Perhaps the right hand slides down the leg. Inhale, both arms up. Walk the hands forward and walk the hands out a little bit deeper so that you could even place the forehead on the mat. If it doesn't reach it, that's all good. So stretching here through the shoulder joint as well. You might feel the inner right thigh stretching now. Inhale, we'll walk the hands back. Swing the right leg back again, balancing tabletop. Reach the left arm up. So a core strengthening exercise here, doing your best to neutralize the spine. One more breath here. Exhale, release the hand and we'll switch sides. Left toes curl under. Stay here a beat as you pull the left heel back, getting a nice stretch and we'll rock forward and back, warming up the wrist joint as well. From here, lift the left leg up, swing it out to the side, the sole of the foot comes down, walk your hands all the way up, hands land on the hips, find your balance here. Left hand slides down the left leg and take your side bend, right arm reaches over to the left. Release the hands down, walk the hands gently forward. So you can stay right up here or you can start to release the forehead down. Sit bones spread apart, deep stretch through the inner left thigh. And we'll walk the hands back, sweep the left leg back, shift the weight to your left hand as you play with your balance here for balancing tabletop. Release the hand down. And from here, we'll take a child's pose. Big toes touch, knees widen, place the forehead down, continuing to stretch here through the hips and the shoulders. Deep inhale in. Exhale, let it out through the mouth. Good, from here we'll lift the forehead up, curl the toes under, slight push the floor away with the hands, and then lift the knees and we'll press up and back for downward facing dog. So it's okay to have the knees bent here. More important to get your pelvis to tilt forward and keep pushing the floor away with the hands so that the head is moving away from the floor. 
If it feels okay, you could pedal out the feet a little bit. We'll begin to walk the feet up to the hands, bend the knees as much as needed. We'll take those two blocks underneath the hands here for a forward fold. So your blocks have different settings, so you can go as high or as low as you like. And if you don't have the blocks, feel free to bend your knees here. On your next inhale, we'll take a halfway lift, get a nice long spine. Exhale, fold, soften in the knees, inhale to rise all the way up, hands through prayer, and exhale, release into mountain pose. Stand nice and tall, feel the crown of your head lift here. We'll bring the feet together, inhale, reach your arms up, and as you exhale, send the hips back here for chair pose. If there's any discomfort in the neck or shoulders, Keep your hands in prayer here. We'll take a couple more breaths here as we bring some heat into the legs. Take an inhale and exhale. Catch hold of the blocks, halfway lift. Shift your weight to your right foot. Take a big step back of your left foot. You can take the blocks with you and feel free to pad your back knee with a blanket if that feels better. We're rising up into a low lunge position. Arms reach up. Couple breaths here. Mindfully moving, sending compassion to ourselves. From here, we'll take a twist. So left arm comes out in front, right arm comes behind us here for an active twist. And now as we take the left fingers or hand to the outside of the right leg and push the hand into the leg, leg into the hand, reach the crown of the head up and see if you could twist a little bit deeper, applying some resistance here. Release that as you inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, hands catch the block. Curl the back toes under. Launch off the back foot to a halfway lift. And exhale, we'll switch sides. Weight shifts to the left foot. Step the right foot back and down. Setting up for our low lunge Anjane Asana position. And taking a couple breaths to be in the pose, be present. From here, we're actively twisting. So feel the spine rotate here as the crown of the head reaches up. And then we'll get a little deeper twist by placing the right hand to the outside of the left leg and press the leg into the hand and going a little bit deeper. Release the hand, inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, catch the blocks, curl the back toes under. Big step forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, soften in your knees. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands through prayer, release the hands. Shift your weight to your right foot, bring your left knee up into stork pose. So playing with a little balance here. We'll see if we can widen the left knee to the left. And as you do that, bend your right leg, take a big step back <laughs> to warrior two. So you've got your blocks situated out in front of you. We might be using them from time to time here. Widen the arms apart, bend through the front knee, deep breaths. From here, we'll place our right forearm on our right thigh. Sweep the left arm up and over so the palm is facing down here. And then rotate the ribs to the side more. So rotating to the side, perhaps even the gaze spins upward. Inhale, rise back up through warrior two. We'll straighten the front leg and heel toe the back foot in. Quite a lot, we're setting up for triangle pose. From here, lengthen the spine first, 
lean forward and we're taking the fold at the hip joint, not the waist. So the side body stays nice and long. And you can place your hand on the block to the outside of the right leg. So the left ribs come down, so the side body stays nice and long. Left arm reaches up. We'll take a few breaths here. Breathing in and out through the nose. Bring your left hand to your hip, bend your right leg, inhale up, take the block with you and pivot your feet so that you're wide on your mat here. Take an inhale as you exhale, again, hinging through the hip joint, we're coming into a wide leg forward fold. Release the head, you can use the block here underneath the hands. Feet are parallel, press a lot through the outer edge of your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Come up with a nice long spine here as we turn towards the back of our mat. You can set your block there. And we'll work into our warrior two on the second side. So get a nice long stance. You can bend generously through the front leg and use those outer hip muscles to widen through the hip joint. Arms nice and long, gazing over your middle left finger there. Steady, even breath in and out through the nose. Allow the posture to challenge you just enough. Bring your left forearm to your left thigh, big sweep of your right arm up and over, and then we're focused on revolving the rib cage to the side and even upward for our side angle pose. We'll rise back up into warrior two, just to transition. We'll heel toe the back foot in and set up for our triangle pose. So nice straight legs, lean forward. The right hip pulls back just slightly as you take that hinge through the left hip joint and the right arm reaches up. And same thing here, the ribs and the chest is turning to the side. You can gaze either forward or all the way up. Taking a couple long yoga breaths here, in and out through the nose. Feeling the effects and the benefits of the posture as it stretches through the legs, the side body, the chest. And we'll inhale up. We're taking that block with us again, if you have it. Bring your feet to the side again. This time, bring those heels in, setting up for goddess stance. We'll use the block here just to challenge ourselves. So we'll bend the knees and bring the block out in front of us. Knees are nice and wide here. And then if you can, you're raising the arms above you. So just giving yourself some feedback and space of what your body's doing and challenging yourself a little bit with the block. Nice work, we'll straighten out through the legs and pivot forward, big step forward. You can set the block down and meet me in a mountain pose. From mountain pose, we'll shift the weight to the right, take your stork pose, widen the left knee to the left. We'll work into tree pose. So you can take the sole of the left foot to the inside of that right calf, keep the left knee widening out to the side. You can also ground those toes down for better balance here. And if you're working towards placing the heel all the way up to the inner right thigh, you can do that as well. Just be where you are today and know that balance changes from day to day, just like in life off the mat, option to open up the arms, floor is always there to catch you. And we'll release and set the foot down and switch sides, shift the weight to the left. We'll take that stork pose with the right leg here and allow the right knee to come out to the side and then place the foot wherever you're going today is just perfect. Remember to firm those outer hips to help stabilize the pelvis here and the left thigh. 
Option to open the arms, and you're gazing just past your nose. And remember, if you fall, just observe how you treat yourself, okay? Remember, we're sending compassion to ourselves. It's okay to fall. And we'll release and we'll come back into our mountain pose. From here, inhale, big sweep of your arms up. Exhale, soften in the knees as we take our forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. You can even set those blocks aside. We'll step back into a plank pose. Strong plank pose here. And we'll set those knees down. Shift forward, soft bend in the arms. Try to keep the core engaged as you release all the way down onto the floor. You can take crocodile pose by stacking one forearm on top of the other. And we'll come into Sphinx pose, doing a gentle back bend here. So you're up on your forearms, engage through your glutes to draw the pelvis under as you pull the sternum forward and isometrically drag those elbows back towards your hips. So a very active Sphinx pose. From here, see if you could point your right foot and send the heel in towards the hip. Feel your quad stretch there and release and we'll switch sides. Left pulls in and release. Come on to the belly again, set the palms so they're facing upwards. Inhale, lift the chest by bringing your shoulder blades in towards the spine and then lift your legs off the mat for a locust pose. So we're engaging through our back body now. Deep breaths. Good, and then we'll release. And from here, we'll roll right onto our backs. and set up for bridge pose. So feet are hips distance apart. We'll start by pressing the heels into the mat, lift the hips up, engage through those glutes, and then roll one shoulder under and then the other a little bit deeper here. Keep pushing through the soles of the feet into the mat. Feel the whole back body engage here. Deep breaths. And then slowly release the hips down. One more time, press down through the feet, engage your glutes to lift the hips up, and then we want to open the chest here. So we have to bring the shoulder blades in towards the spine by rolling the arms underneath us. If you can keep the chest open and clasp the hands, you can take that here. You can also grab the outer edge of the mat. It will actually help to engage your lats, which is one of the big muscles that's helping to broaden and open the chest. And we will release. Let's place our left hand on our heart, right hand on the belly. Let the knees come in, the feet wide, and just close down your eyes. And just feel the effects of that asana that heart opener, you might feel your heart beat come up a little bit, the breath a little bit deeper, faster even. And from here, we'll just open the eyes, let the knees windshield wipers side to side. Allow the knees to come in towards the chest and then let them go over to the right. And we'll take a sweep of the left arm here for a gentle twist, release your low back. And we'll bring the knees up and switch. Let them rock over to the left, gaze to the right. We'll bring the knees up and come into happy baby pose. So you can grab outer edges of the feet or the ankles there. If the hands don't reach the feet, that's all good. You can also take yogi toe lock around the big toe. 
So just decide what works for you best in this moment. A lot of the yoga practice is self-practice, navigating what is the best choice for us in that moment. And that changes from day to day. Gentle rock side to side if that feels good. And we'll just gently rock the knees as we open the class a little bit, circling them in one direction and then the other. And from here, we'll release into a Shavasana pose. We'll take a brief Shavasana here just to allow your body to absorb the practice here. Just close down the eyes. Take a deep inhale in. Exhale, you can sigh out through the mouth and surrender here into your final resting pose. Deepen your breath. Gently wiggle your fingers and your toes. On your next inhale, stretch the arms above your head, point through the feet. As you exhale, pull the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a little hug here. We'll roll to the right side and then push yourself up into a seated pose. I hope you enjoyed this beginner yoga class. Let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video.